guys, so it is day three, or day two, of uh, Amsterdam. We're actually gonna take a train to Belgium in the evening around four. Um, so we still got a couple of things to do. We gotta do a, um, we gotta go eat breakfast. We're gonna go to, a, we're gonna take a canal cruise, what they call, which is like a little tour on, a, on through the canals of Amsterdam, which should be really cool. Um, and then we're gonna go to the big uh, dam square or whatever to check out like the shops, take pics and stuff like that. After that, we're gonna come back to the hotel, grab our luggage, and then head to the station to take the train. So, yeah. All right, guys, so we just got tickets for the metro, not the tram. We're gonna head to the breakfast spot. It is a cloudy day right now in the beautiful city of Amsterdam. And I gotta head to the central station. Let's see the city. It's really beautiful and clean, man. What up guys, so my breakfast spot right now, it's called the IBN Brothers. It's a really, really cool spot. And they got like fresh veggies and stuff out here. A bunch of desserts and stuff ready to eat. I already ordered my food, it's gonna be like a sandwich. Look at that gigantic ass shark teeth. Really cool little spot, man. Hopefully the food is dope too. All right guys, walking down the streets of Amsterdam right now, past the canals and check out this view. It's crazy, man. Such a unique town. Now that we have breakfast, we're gonna head out and get to a canal tour. Should be kind of fun. You guys, we just got to the central station area. Check out this view. Damn. Like I said, man, the architecture here is really beautiful. You got like the canal right here, like a tram going by. Dope stuff. So I finally got my little um, boat. Check it out. I got the front seat. Use the boat. Big old boat. And this is called the 100 Highlight Tour. So the guy recommended me to do this one because it's my first time doing it. They also have like an open boat tour, which is like a more intimate apparently atmosphere, but I'd rather see all the main things first, you know? So I'm gonna check this out. The next departure, or we should be departing like 15, 20 minutes. So until then, we just chill here. As you saw, that was the boat tour just finished up right now. We have a couple hours left, so we're gonna actually walk around the city, go to like the Dam Square area, and then actually head back to Central Station over there and take a train to Belgium. Should be pretty dope. Okay, I get to make a quick pit stop to a place called Mannequin, which is apparently Holland's number one prize. Let's see what they got. Alright guys, so actually back at Dam Square area, dudes be feeding pigeons with their bare hands. Tons of people here, man. It's not like yesterday because yesterday it was rainy. So I think, and plus today's Friday, so. Oh, but man, again, like the architecture here keeps blowing me away. Like everything looks so beautiful. What up, guys? So we are in Belgium now, in Brussels, actually. Unfortunately, yesterday. The video randomly got cut off due to crazy uh, technical difficulties. My camera filled up, so I had to erase a bunch of stuff. But we're in Belgium right now, check it out. It's a crazy train ride too, man. It took forever to get here. Our hotel's that way. Right now we're in the streets about 10 a.m. Gonna try and get some breakfast and then see what else we can do. All right guys, walking for just about like maybe five minutes and right away a quick little uh, landmark or whatever. It's called, it's called a mannequin piss. And he just pisses all day, every day, 24 hours a day. He's a ripped baby too. Sometimes he pee, but here. 
And yeah. Alright guys, and this is like a little touristy part of the area, the al the mannequin piss alley. <laughs> and they got a bunch of like shops here for souvenirs and one do one euro uh here, right. There. The one euro waffles and stuff. Pretty cool man. Not bad at all. Um, still headed, walking around and stuff, gonna find a breakfast spot. And the hunt continues. Finally right, made it to the shop, it's called Mason Dandoy. So my camera's still messing up, just like that road trip time, but about to have some breakfast here. The Belgian restaurant, check that out. God damn, bro. That looks mad good. It's chocolate syrup and ice cream. Waffle. We're at this place called Dandoy's. It's pretty cool, man. Alright guys, so we made it to the grand place in Belgium and look at this. This is insane, dude. They got the flower carpet rolled out. Apparently it happens just once every two years. I didn't even know that was going to be here, so we got kind of lucky with that. But, but look at the buildings, bro. That's insane. Check it out. Look at this building. It's crazy. So now we're actually going to climb that building to get a better view. But dude, this is nuts. Waiting in line to get on top of this tower to get a good view of the uh, of the flower carpet. But check out the view inside this little hall that we're in, right? Damn. You know, everything here is like really like gothic and middle ages. And it's cool how they preserve everything. It's really, really nice. Alright guys, so we finally made it to the top. Check out this view of the flower carpet. Bro, it looks ridiculous. These are all flowers, man. And look at the buildings and sky in the background. It looks crazy. So gorgeous. Worth the, uh, what, we waited like 45 minutes? Totally. We're finally done uh, with the viewing. But let me show you guys a different angle. This is actually that building on that balcony right over there. But take a look at this building. That's the city hall, I think, and it's so beautiful. Huge, and it looks super, super, like, gothic, and man, it's crazy. Alright guys, food time is upon us. Look at that, baby. I got the turkey. Comes with some french fries. Aftermath. Turkey aftermath. I couldn't finish the fries because we were really full. We also got mussels, bro. See that? Damn. That's like a specialty in Belgium. And they're really, really good. So dinner is, or not dinner, lunch is done. Um, so now we're walking around, we're in this arcade now, and apparently it's one of the first arcades ever in Europe. And it's really, really cool because the scenery is beautiful, man. Like, as always, the architecture looks really, really dope. Um, there's a bunch of people around here. That yeah, pretty neat. And then here, we got this macaron shop that I, I thought was kind of cool. It's really, really beautiful in there. Should get some up close shots. So we just checked out this shop called Leonidas. It's over there. You see the thing right there. And I gotta get omiyage for my coworkers, which is like souvenirs. So I was checking some stuff out. Uh, I'm gonna come back at night, so I don't have to walk around with the bags so and just melt. But in the meantime, I got myself a little. This thing is called Nibs. It's only a euro, and it's like a pretty decent sized chocolate bar. It should hopefully. So I'm in this chocolate shop called New House right now, and everything looks insane. Look at this. Look how amazing this chocolate. I'm gonna gain like 20 pounds before I get home. So we're still walking around the city. Everything's kind of really, really great, but I'm getting kind of sleepy, so I decided to pop into the supermarket and get me one of these crazy green Red Bulls. I'm, maybe a lot of you already seen this, but in Japan we only have like the regular Red Bull, the sugar-free Red Bull, and then the berry one. So I've never seen these crazy green ones. It's pretty dope. It's kiwi flavor. Nice. But check out the town right now. Tons of people are still walking around everywhere. Um, so many tourists. Yeah, what time is it right now? Uh, look at my watch. What 
It's about 4.30 right now, so close to evening time. But it's weird, like this is this is like northern, since Europe is like northern, it's daylight till like 9 p.m. here, 9.30 p.m. In fact, even last night until 10, I could still see like the sunset. It's insane how late there's sunlight. We're actually in this cafe right now, but you know, let me show you guys a view from this cafe, all right? Check this out, bro. So we're standing here. Look at the people. That's insane, man. We waited in line for this building. This is what I want to show you guys. Good shot. Look at that gorgeous building, bro. You can see, like, that's where we were. And we waited in this crazy line. That's nuts. You can see lines going all the way over there. But yeah, that's the flower carpet right there. And apparently it only happens once every two years. And it's for a short amount of time, so we got really lucky that we can come and see it. Uh, they're celebrating Japan and Belgium's relationship for it being the uh, 150th 50th year anniversary. So you can see it's got like a little bit of influence of Japan in there. It's great, man. Here walking down the street, check this view out. Damn. All right, guys. After a long day of walking around the city, finally getting some dinner. Check this joint out. Damn. It's like a three variety, three thing variety thing, all Belgian food. With some Belgian fries. We're gonna go in on this. It's actually nighttime. We just finished having that dinner that I showed you guys a little bit earlier. But check this view out. They actually light up the whole flower carpet thing at night. And they actually just had a light show. And I mentioned earlier in the video that they're celebrating like uh, Japan and Brussels or Belgium's 150th year relationship anniversary. So it's like a Japan themed light show. But it's pretty cool. But check it out, man. It's pretty cool. The lights are all shining from there and there. And it looks pretty nice. It is morning right now in uh, Belgium. I'm having my last breakfast here. This is my view. And this, ladies and gentlemen, my last breakfast in Belgium. Breakfast? Look at that. Headed to the airport now. Gonna uh, take a flight out at about 1.30. Gonna stop in Thailand for about six hours and then finally get back to Osaka. It's gonna be a long flight, bro, but should be worth it. I mean, worth it. I have to do it, you know. Anyways, rambling now, so I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.